Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In my channel, I upload the videos of consulting requirements, certification, interview, and day-to-day -day support issues of SD, MM, and oil and gas. If this is the first time you're here, please do subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get notified about my new videos. In this video, we will discuss about the SAP SD support ticket or the go live as the issue. No pricing processor could determined the message number you get with respect to that is v1212 when do we get this error message we get this error message when we are trying to create a sales order okay and uh, maybe you have created a new sales area with respect to that you are able to create you are trying to create a new sales document or sales order okay now this is the sales area and immediately once I give the sold to party in the sales order, it gives me a message. No pricing processor could be determined. Okay. Now, how to read these? It's very easy. Okay. So you just have to concentrate and then it's very easy to understand what is there in this message. Okay. The appropriate pricing procedure could not be determined because no entry with the keys GSSO, G1, G1, A, one exists in the table 683v okay now how do we read this this gss4 g1 g1 what is this this is nothing but the sales area that we have given to create the sales order okay now what is this a this a is nothing but the document pricing procedure what is this this one this one is nothing but the customer pricing procedure so it is giving a message that the sales area, document pricing procedure, and the customer pricing procedure combination doesn't exist in this table 683V. So clearly from the error message, we can understand that this is a pricing relevant issue. Okay. So now if it's a pricing relevant issue, so we have to go to the nodes where this pricing configuration is done. How do we go there? We go through this transaction SPRO, then IMG, then sales and distribution, then basic functions, then pricing, then pricing control. Okay, and these are the nodes where you create all the relevant configuration with respect to the pricing. But what we are more concerned is with respect to this pricing procedure. Okay. So before I jump into what we have to do, I will just explain you two more points here. Okay. In the error message, if you have observed, so we have A and 1 here, correct? So this A and 1 from where it comes, so that configuration or that details comes from this node, assign document pricing processor to order type. So our order type that we have used is OR, okay? So for this OR, what is my document pricing procedure? So if you see here, my document pricing procedure is A that is assigned here with respect to OR. Okay. Similarly, with respect to the customer also, we have the pricing procedures which are defined with respect to customer. So if you see here, there is 1, 2, C, etc. here. Okay. And the customer has the pricing procedure as 1. So if you see the customer master with respect to the sales area data, See here in the sales tab, if you see the customer pricing processor is updated as one. Okay. So from the customer master, we have one and from the document pricing processor, we have a and the sales area is also the same sales area GSS for G1 G1. Okay. So when the system is trying to look at the combination, it is looking at a combination of the sales area plus document pricing processor plus customer pricing processor. So if you observe clearly, so this is nothing but our sales area. Okay. And this is nothing but our document pricing procedure. And this is nothing but our customer pricing procedure. So when we have to create or if the sales order has to pick up a proper pricing procedure, so it will check for this combination of sales area plus document pricing procedure plus customer pricing procedure okay generally this is also an interview question so some uh, interviewers ask you how the pricing is determined in the sales order okay so this is what is the answer so the answer is so on the basis of sales area plus document pricing procedure 
less customer pricing procedure so as that combination is missing so after coming here we know that there is a defined pricing procedure determination node so in this node what we have to do we'll have to create that entry with respect to which it is missing gss4 g1 g1 document pricing procedure is a customer pricing procedure is one and pricing procedure whatever is the relevant pricing procedure you want to choose out of the system so you need to update that then just save it so that it gets created as a entry in the table okay so now once this is done obviously at the back end table for this is uh, t683v okay so even you can check that details from here as well okay so the once you update the details it gets updated into the six t683v okay even if you want to write any reports and all with respect to this or if you want to write any program so this table can be used with respect uh, for the pricing procedures and uh, determination in the sales documents okay so this is how you need to resolve that error so the solution solution is to configure the pricing procedure determination so this is the node where you need to do that configuration okay thank you for watching please do subscribe if you have not yet and press bell icon like and share and comment so in this video if you have learned something new or if you have faced this error in your day-to-day uh, -day life please do comment how you have resolved this error thank you have a nice day